let's just take a quick look here at this one is a 2425 and uh, it's with take a look this is where it's the walk through windshield now this one's spoken for but I do have this boat in the 2225 on its way which really is the the exact same boat it's just a little less space uh, in the back deck so your cabin and that's the same it's just two feet less in the back it's gonna have pretty much the same engine set up here this is a 200 Verado the 22 will have a 150 uh, naturally aspirated mercury four-stroke engine and as well as a uh, 15 horsepower uh, pro kicker on the back of the of the transom there and it will be actually 22 feet right to the back transom here it's actually 24 to the uh, outboard bracket nice large back deck here with the transom um, live well there and a nice high top with this 22 is like I said exactly the same with a nice extended uh, hard top here when you come inside there's the seating on both sides as well as those upgraded seats with the smooth smooths suspension there and of course we're looking at being able to do this and boom there you go with some nice access to the front a little drop bow self bailing area here with some nice high rails and of course some good storage up top so this is the 2625 Coastal Express and you'll see here this is a pilot house so it's got that slanting windshield and what that does is really affords more space in the cabin and uh, and then you'll see that the deck here I'm gonna try to give you a look in the front is a closed bow with some nice handrails top of the cabin is a nice handrails that go all along to afford you for the walk around to access the front but this design is giving you a little more cab space and also a bit of a cutty cabin in the front there same extended hard top and this boat is uh, 24 feet to the back transom 26 feet to uh, the outboard bracket and here we have the mercury twin 115 command thrust engines so you've got your twins and a great 15 pro kicker that's a high thrust with four blade uh, kicker there for you as well let's take a look inside all right and here we are in the back deck you can see a lot more space fish walls down there rear helm steering station um, same nice extended hard top with the uh, transom live well here dueling one though we have one there and then as well as one here so you can have two or a bait well or whatever coming through past your rear steering station you have a nice bench seat here great storage in that there we have uh, the same upgraded seats on the smooth moves suspension right you can walk more with this type of design you can walk forward more you get a little more use of your cabin because the windshield is slanted this way uh, instead of this way right so I can stand here comfortably right to uh, the very, very front. And I have now this storage space here or a cuddy cabin as well as storage space underneath there. And also then we're looking at your sink stainless steel sink there water and this here a nice full 
flush stand up head with the uh, overboard discharge macerator. I don't know to try and give you an idea of what it's like for size in here. It's pretty darn, pretty darn good. You really have quite a, uh, a roomy cabin uh, in this one. So that's just a quick overview to give you an idea. I uh, look forward to seeing you here. I'll show you these boats in person. Thanks.